and the best minivan on the market, at that. The recent history of Chrysler has been a turbulent one, starting with a merger with Daimler in 1998, a sell-off to a private equity company followed nine years later. Not long after, Fiat took over ownership and today the current Chrysler range comprises of just two offerings, namely a minivan and a sedan. But before this takeover, the Chrysler Group used to incorporate the Dodge, Jeep, and Ram brands of which Fiat now has a controlling interest to, and vehicles like the Dodge Challenger and Charger are still on sale, offering superb value in their respective segment. The Ram pickups are also still at the top of their game despite the basic design, having been around since 2009. But what about the Chrysler branded cars then? The is the only sedan to bear the Chrysler name today, and while it is actually a competent vehicle, it is getting on in years, and a mild update for 2018 has not addressed the aging underpinnings. Still, it exudes a kind of style and has a swagger that many find appealing. There is a 363 horsepower 5. Seven liter V8 on offer, but it is thirsty and can't quite match the power outputs of more modern turbocharged offerings. Those with very long memories may remember back to the original 50s C300 Coupe, a 300 horsepower car that started the muscle car craze and became a successful NASCAR racer. The similarities with today's 300 sedan are in name only and sadly it does not match up to the groundbreaking original. This brings us to the only other model in the lineup, the dot it may seem unlikely that a family vehicle could be the better choice here, but when we look at Walter Chrysler's founding philosophy, which was to build a technologically advanced yet affordable luxury vehicle, no modern Chrysler product embodies these virtues more ably than the Pacifica minivan. Let's take a look back at the original Chrysler Group brands to find out why. It all started with the Dodge Caravan. Considered to be the world's first minivan it was launched in 1984, arriving a few months before the European Renault Estus, and quickly became a US sales success. This boxy vehicle introduced us to the practicality benefits of the minivan design and continues to this day as the It has been built under a variety of different names in various parts of the world, there have been many variations on the basic theme too. Now in its fifth generation, the caravan has been available in short and long wheelbase options, with four-cylinder and six-cylinder gasoline power plants, front and all-wheel drive drivetrains as well as a handful of diesel power plants and a whole range of transmission options too. This is one versatile vehicle. The latest model has been in production since 2007, and while regular updates have tried to keep the platform relevant, it is not quite the market leader it once was. The Chrysler branded Town & Country and Grand Voyager equivalents were discontinued when the new Pacifica model arrived. Dodge has been focusing on the more fashionable SUV and crossover designs. One of these is the another old design that dates back to 2009. It has been regularly refreshed to try to compete with newer competitors, but the game has moved on.
the current Dodge Durango is a big and brawny SUV that offers strong performance and good looks but is just about ready for a full refresh as well. That is why the fresh and cutting-edge Chrysler Pacifica is the one that rises to the top. It offers many class-leading attributes and comes packed with the kind of features that make it among the most technologically advanced in its segment while still remaining affordable. Just as Walter intended, while the world is getting carried away with stylish but cramped crossovers and pointless SUVs, the Pacifica offers real-world practicality and just as much comfort and convenience features as the best crossovers on the market. More in fact, if you take into account the built-in vacuum cleaner available on top trim levels, You can also configure it to take up to eight occupants, and few crossovers offer features such as power folding third row seats and none come close in cargo carrying capacity. All models come fitted with a 287 horsepower, 262 pounds feet of torque 3.6 liter V6 engine, a 9 speed automatic transmission is standard too, and while the 22 miles per gallon combined fuel economy is commendable, it is the class leading performance that is the most impressive. Zero 60 miles per hour takes well under 8 seconds, which will see off all of its rivals. There is a hybrid model available too, utilizing two electric motors to provide up to 30 miles of electric only range and of offering a combined 84 MP consumption figure. Even the base all model comes with LED daytime running lights, electronic parking brake, 7 inch touchscreen with rear view camera. HD radio and smartphone integration, and seven seats incorporating the very useful Stow and Go feature. At a starting price of around $26,995, that is conspicuously good value. Most shoppers will be happy to step up to the $32,595 Touring Plus trim as you get a number of additional features such as power sliding rear and side, three-zone climate control and power front seats. Of course, you could always get the top limited trim which is priced a bit steeper at $43,695, but you will have features such as premium Napa leather seats, ventilated and heated seats as well as hands-free power side and rear doors to impress your neighbors with. The hybrid version is around $1,500 more and does without the stow and go seating but offers markedly better consumption figures. Options such as autonomous park assist, adaptive cruise control and advanced lane departure warning systems further add to the safety and convenience features you can specify. So, there you have it. The best car in Chrysler's range today is a minivan, and not just because there are only two models in the lineup, it truly is one of the very best offerings in its segment. Technologically advanced, luxurious and affordable, it is a worthy successor to the original Dodge Caravan and is hopefully an indicator of the direction upcoming Chrysler models will be heading.